everyone. Today's video, we're gonna talk about essential oil and my number one essential oil that I never am without. And what could that be? Well, the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna harvest some of this mint. So what could it be an essential oil that I would never be without? Well, let me explain a little bit. If I could tell you that I have an essential oil that can work for aches and pains and headaches and colds and flu, tired stomach aches and tired and sore feet. What would you think about that? If it would help for cramps and all kinds of woman issues. It's relatively available anywhere and it's very frugal as well. What would you say if you had something in the palm of your hand that it could help you with all of those things? You'd say it's wonderful, it's a wonder. And what could it be? Of all the essential oils that I have, and I have probably about 50 of them, this essential oil has helped me in hundreds and hundreds of ways. And why? I'm gonna share with you all the things that I've been through this year and how this essential oil has helped me. But first, let's finish this. Mm. Oh, did I tell you that this essential oil keeps colds from going into your chest? This essential oil probably, most likely, could help you for that nasty virus. Hey, it's worth a try now, isn't it? And being that it's essential oil, it's not internal, it's external. So you could place it almost anywhere on your body within reason because you wouldn't want to put it in your eyes or anywhere like that. But you could dab it on your wrist, on your neck, behind your ears. You could put it on your belly. You could put it on your legs, on your feet. All of these things and it's not something inside your body, so it won't affect you like medications will. I bet you're guessing by now what this essential oil is, aren't you? Well, let's go into my pantry and I'll share it with you. And I'll explain to you what it's done for me. And of course, I have to give all of those disclaimers, you know, the ones that are mal along telling you that I'm not a doctor. All right, so what is that essential oil? Well, it's peppermint. It's as simple as peppermint essential oil. Why in the world of all the essential oils that you can have am I recommending peppermint? Well, first of all, you know I have to give a disclaimer because I'm not a nurse, I'm not a doctor, I'm not in the medical field whatsoever. And I'm not promising that this can do all these wonderful things, but I'm telling you how it's helped me. So let's sit back and relax a little bit and we talk about peppermint oil. As most of you who have been following my channel know that I've been through quite a little bit of a health situation and this peppermint oil has really helped me. I'm going to tell you all the things that peppermint oil has done for me. And through the generations and the hundreds of years, peppermint oil has been proven and known to really help people. So first thing I do is that you want to know what's it good for. Most of you know. And peppermint oil, you can use it in all, almost any kind of condition. But let me tell you how it's helped me. So when I had severe cramps, peppermint oil has helped me. It has helped me tremendously. I have problems sometimes with nausea. Peppermint oil has helped me immensely. I've had headaches. I've had back aches. I've had ear aches. I had nose congestion. One of the things I really wanted to talk to you about is concerning this virus and some of the things that you can do, homopathic things that can really help you out. And one of them is, so what the virus is, it gives you a lot of uh, congestion and it's in your eyes and it's in your nose. And what happens is if it can go down into your chest and then into your lungs. And when it hits your lungs, that's when we have a serious condition. And this can happen really quickly. One thing peppermint oil is menthol and it is known to help break up mucus. And so I've been using peppermint oil whenever I have a little bit of a stuffy nose or a sore throat, I use peppermint oil. I know you're all thinking now, wait, how do I use it? I'll explain to that at the end of this video. 
this has been good for just almost just anything you can imagine when you when you smell peppermint oil it lifts you up so just sniffing it 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 gives you life it it, it clears out your head it clears your sinuses it just opens up your pathways your airways it opens them up now i don't know you okay i don't know if you're sensitive to some things i don't know if you have allergic reactions to some things i don't know anything about you so i'm just sharing with you what it's doing for me now i am not on any medications for anything and so i don't even take tylenol and i don't even take ibuprofen i don't do any of that so I'm coming to you as a person who doesn't have any kind of medical situation at hand. And so all of these things are helping me. You gotta know your body and you gotta know what you can do. But this is not taken internally. Now you can use this to make your homemade toothpaste and things like that, but what I'm talking about is all external. So let me explain. If you have a headache, now, also, I want to explain something to you. Most people have a carrier oil with it. In other words, they'll put a couple drops of the essential oil in with coconut oil, mix it together, and use that. I use all of my essential oils straight. I know some people will not understand that, but I use them all straight. I don't have any kind of reactions to it. But you must know your body, and you must test out first. I use it straight. All of my essential oils, I use straight. And that's just me. That's just how I do it. That's how it works best for me. But like I said, some people could break out in rashes doing that and burn their skin. I would not recommend that unless you know what you can take. So I had an earache. So if you're, you have an earache and you have congestion in here, what you can do is you can rub your lip notes really lightly. And what you want to do is you want to take your hands and you just want to rub lightly downward motion what you're doing is you're clearing out your lymph nodes and the drainage and it's going to go down into here and you just keep pulling that lightly but you can take a drop or two of peppermint oil and go right behind your ear what that's going to do is it's going to break up all the mucus in your ear and it's going to help your lymph glands with headache i put a couple across my head like this down at the bridge of my nose you want to make sure you do not get it in your eyes because it can burn your eyes it is strong it would be like a hot pepper on your fingers so if you have it on your hands you want to make sure you wash your hands and don't touch anything that would become very sensitive to it trust me i learned the hard way on that one so i go like this it just breaks everything up if you have menstrual cramps, I also externally put it on your abdomen, a couple drops, a couple drops on your belly. If you have upset stomach, smelling it what helps you with nausea. Sniffing it would help you with nausea as well. If you put a couple drops on the bottom of your feet and you put your socks on and you wear that at night, what will happen is it will keep that moisture in there and it helps you if you have cough so if you can put a couple on your throat if you have coughing it will help clear that out if you have tension headaches in the back of your neck you can rub a couple drops in the back of your neck as you can see peppermint oil for me has been a wonder essential oil and it is something that is ancient in ancient days what kind of peppermint oil do i get now, I'm not one of those that say you have to go out and you have to get a certain brand name of essential oils because some of them are very expensive. Now, I do make sure mine are organic and it is United States resourced. And so I will get my essential oils from Gardens Eden off of Amazon. And Gardens Eden is a very frugal, it's very frugal at their essential oils. Of course, all essential oils are different priced because some of them are hard to source than others. But peppermint oil is probably one of your cheapest essential oils that you can buy. But make sure you get essential oils that are not perfumed oils. Okay, so there is a difference. Perfumed oils are made to add to candles. They're made to add to things like that. You want essential oils. 
You don't want to just go get perfumed oils because the Dollar Tree has perfumed oils. They're not essential oils. Now, the Dollar Tree does have peppermint oil, essential oil in a roller, and I also buy them. I really like them and they work quite well. For me, they're not strong enough because I like to have it strong. But here it is. This is my number one essential oil that almost every room in my house has one. <laughs> Let's say you don't want to put on your body at all. Essential oil is good for aromatherapy. Mm, how about put a couple drops in hot water? And if you have a cold, you can put a couple drops in hot water and then you can put your head over top of the hot water and have a towel and you can smell in all that fragrance and all of those essential oil properties that will help loosen up all that phlegm. It's really important in this day and age that we know some home remedies to help us out. You know, we have to be proactive in our health. And so when you start feeling a cold coming on, there's things that you can do that can help you instead of waiting until it's just so bad and you're suffering so much. So essential oils, they're not the cure all. You know, there's some things in life that, you know, they're just not going to help. But there's, it's something that you can use. And by all means, please have this in your essential, in your preparations, in your, in your home for in case the grid goes down or things get bad. It's extremely important that you have certain things like this. You know, off the counter medications, off the counter medications and off the counter things that you can buy. And all of those things are so important to have. That way you have a little stockpile of some things that are home remedies that can help you in times where maybe you can't get medical, medical advice or you can't get to a medical place quick enough. You know, these things can help you. You know, back in the old days, they had mustard plaster. So what they did when people had pneumonia, you know, they used mustard and they, it was quite interesting. Now, some of these remedies are like old wives tales and some of them are really eccentric. And so you probably wouldn't want to go into all of that, but it's really good to have books that teach you about home remedies and things like that, because for earaches and for small infections, like things like that, you can really help yourself out and you can help yourself from it getting into large issues in your life. Also, if you have other issues like headaches and you also have uh, overactive bladder and you have female conditions like that, lavender is another good one. Lavender helps you with sleeping and lavender will help you with all kinds of things like that as well. Lavender is a peaceful one. I'm gonna be focusing on one by one my essential oils that I like to use, but this one is my top one I recommend, and I hope you keep it in your medicine cabinet because it is great to have, let's say you don't have any toothpaste, a couple drops of this in baking soda, mix it together, voila, you have toothpaste that is amazing and works great. And all of those things can help you in a situation where maybe you can't get to the grocery store. I hope you, found, I hope you find this in, inspirational, informational, educational, and entertainment. But I want to just say once again that I am not recommending this in any kind of medical advice whatsoever. I'm just telling you how I use it and what I use it for. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.